first of all, just starting with you, um, how have you enjoyed kind of breaking into the team? Obviously, you came on against Motherwell and you also featured in that Champions League game in midweek. Obviously, I'm I'm very happy to take part now in, in the games. I was also happy just uh, joining the team and trying to, to reach my fitness during uh, training sessions. But obviously, this is my aim, is to, to play games regularly. And um, yeah, it's nice to, to start that, that period now. Obviously, it wasn't the result that you wanted on Wednesday night, but for you, how did it feel to, to come on and, and experience that Champions League football? Was that obviously an attraction to you when you, when you joined Celtic? Uh, yeah, first of all, the, the things that... Uh, the most important was to get the win, and uh, we didn't that. So we didn't do that. So it's very, uh, yeah, it's hard, but we need to move on from that. Um, from a personal perspective, it's it was my first uh, real game of football in four months, which was also a, a challenge for me. But I know by um, by playing regularly, it is my way to to reach my my top again. So it's uh, it's just step by step. But it was a great atmosphere and. Uh, our fans made it a special night, for sure. Hi, Oliver. Um, we know Callum McGregor is going to be out tomorrow and it could be a little while longer with his injury. He needs a replacement, obviously. Is that a role you, you think you could fit into? Uh, it depends. It's the, it's the question for the gaffer, I guess. Um, I hope the best for, for Callum and a quick recovery. Um, and obviously, if the gaffer means and the coaching staff means I need to, to replace him, I'll... I'm happy to do so, um, but we have a strong squad and a lot of different players that can that can fill in the position. So we'll wait and see. There are some big games coming up at Celtic Park in the next couple of weeks. How much are you looking forward to being involved in a Champions League game there? Uh, I look, uh, I look very much forward to it. Like uh, every other game now, I've had the the joy to experience the the atmosphere at Celtic Park, and I think it will be even more special the the coming games. Um, so yeah, just happy to to be here. Tyrone, hi Oliver. Um, obviously, you've not been long in the door in Scottish football. I'm just wondering what your early impressions are. In in terms of the the opposition games or the just, opposition, just generally. I mean, what what have you made of of what you've seen and experienced of the game here in Scotland so far? The environment and all that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, now I've seen uh, as a spectator both the the derby and I took part uh, on the bench in this away game in St Mirren and they are very different games, but um, and none of them are easy. It's my my first impression that it's it's a tough league and if you don't perform at your your very highest level, it's you will struggle in in all games, not only against the good sides. So definitely a, a challenging league, but but also a a league where we are. Yeah, we are we are to to dominate the games, but it's definitely not an easy game if we don't show at our, our best level all the time. And you mentioned it's a challenging league, and you know if you're not at your best, you, you know you can slip up. But from what you've seen, do you feel that you've got the perfect kind of game that is suited to the challenges that you've just highlighted there here in Scotland? From a personal point of view, yeah, yeah, um, yeah obviously I. I know what what challenge uh, waits for me when I'm able to play uh, regularly, and I'm I'm very confident that I will be able to to deal with these uh, challenges and contribute to the team. Gabriel, thanks. Hi, Oliver. Um, just want to go to go back to to what you were saying. You hadn't played since April. How's that been for you? You know, it's obviously. Playing for a club over in Russia, very difficult time. Then moving here, how is it personally uh, and physically as well? Uh, I would lie if I if I said it was easy, um, because I was training on my own for three months, and it's it's uh, easy enough to to maintain general fitness. But in terms of football fitness and specific exercises, it it takes some time to come back. Uh, but I'm I'm on the right track now and. All the the staff and the physical coaches helped me getting back to my to my level and where I should where I should be. Um, so I'm getting there slowly, um, trying to be patient, but it it does take some time, yeah. And uh, obviously, Callum is going to be missing this weekend. You came on for him midweek. Big chance for you to start tomorrow. 
how close would you say you are to 100% fitness? And what personal aims do you have for yourself this season when playing for Celtic? In order to reach my 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 top fitness, I, I need to play play games regularly, uh, week by week. And this is what gets me there. So it, it's hard to say how far I am for that. Um, since I, I didn't play for four months, it definitely take more than just a couple of games to get back. Um, but once I'm once I'm at my my top level, uh, my aims are to to contribute to the team as best as possible. Um, they know why they brought me here. Um, my my main strengths as a player, and I will just try to implement that as as well as possible in order so we can achieve our collective goals and win as many games as possible. Shadow. Hi Oliver, um, obviously you've only been at Celtic for a relatively short time, but how have you found working under Ange Postecoglou and his style of management? Uh, my first time I've I've only had uh, good impressions, um, not only by the gaffer but the the whole club. Um, it feels like a very special place to be, um, and the the fan base and the yeah just the. The whole environment here around Celtic is uh, is very special, and I'm very happy. And the style of play that the team the team play in, in every game is very high intensity. Is that a style that you feel that you'll fit into well? Yeah, I will uh, for sure. I need to to adapt the the coaching staff ideas and adapt to the the way of playing from my teammates. But for uh, for sure, like every week, I, I feel a progression. So. For sure, I will, I will feel confident playing that way. Thank you. And from Fan Media, Hamish. Hi, Oliver. Just going back to when you signed, I think you signed on the Thursday and then on the Saturday we played Rangers and then a few days later we played Real Madrid. You weren't in the match day squad for those two matches. What did you make of those two games in terms of Celtic Park and the atmosphere? It was something special. I tried to... <sighs> I tried before before going to the stadium. I had a, like a feeling how it how it is uh, supposed to be, but I was absolutely blown away. Uh, I must say it's a, it's a very special place to be, and the atmosphere was amazing in both games. And I've, I'm just looking forward to to experience that again. And just in terms of how you play, what kind of player you are, we obviously got a, a little bit of a glimpse on Wednesday night. Just to the Celtic fans, what can they expect to see when you're at your best? When I'm at my best, they can expect to see a, a classic number six that will help my my centre back as well as my offensive midfielders to to be a kind of this link between um, between them. Um, I will help the the defenders support the support the them in their defensive work, win as many duels as possible, as well as contributing to the uh, build up play. Um, and they can expect to see a, a player who wants to, to win for, for everything in the world and yeah, just playing with the, with the heart.